I don't want to sugarcoat things. Roosters can be a real pain in the butt and their aggression can be really intimidating. It can leave you with emotional physical. and physical wounds. There's definitely hope for resolution. So here are our 10 strategies. He's like, yeah, he's like falling asleep. Time to take a nap. <laughs> I know, it's a good cat. Now too much. Hi, Peach. You losing your voice? <laughs> Welcome to the Sunshine Farm. I'm Jen. Today I want to share 10 tips for handling an aggressive rooster. This comes up a lot. I see this question all the time. And here on our channel, you're not going to hear responses like, put him in the crock pot, kick him, carry him upside down, hit him a few times with a stick, things like that, because that's not us. On top of those just being cruel strategies for handling a rooster, they also are not as effective as a few other strategies that I'm gonna to cover today. So let's start with number one. The one that's gonna make you feel really good is Wearing the right apparel so you have less of a chance of getting injured while you're handling an aggressive rooster because they have sharp claws, they have those spurs, and they can, they can injure you pretty badly. So right now I'm wearing shorts. Tip number one, don't wear shorts, wear some thick jeans and tall boots. So I need to make a quick outfit change. So even though these jeans do have some holes in them, they're really thick and so I really like wearing them around the roosters. And I'm going to switch from flip-flops to some tall rain boots. So if you think about where a rooster is, they're about yay high. So the most damage they're going to do to you is to your lower legs and up to here as they try to fly up and attack you with their spurs. Some thick jeans and tall boots, you're going to feel a lot better going in there to work with your rooster. So now let's go to tip number two. Hang out in his territory. So we're going to go in the rooster coop and I do expect some drama. Just a little bit. I need a uh, Chris for this one because I'm still scared. I know. Hang out with me. Get over. We're just gonna hang out here for a little bit. Ah! Oh no! Camera's almost down. Goat's trying to knock it over. No. So we're hanging out in the rooster coop. Tip number three: Be aware of your surroundings. Don't go about your business ignoring where your sassy rooster is because they tend to attack when you're not paying attention. As you'll see in this next little clip, I got attacked when I wasn't paying attention. You're gonna need to treat your rooster situation like you would if you were walking home in a dark place at night by yourself. So you're gonna need to be aware of your surroundings at all times, looking around you and just making sure you know where he is. Yeah, or they might just steal your wallet <laughs> or attack you. Which one's worse? I don't know. That one is the aggressive one that they are dealing with right now. The other two are not aggressive. They're actually pretty timid. Don't bother the tripod. You guys. Okay, you want to give the next tip? What's the next tip? Tip number four is to hold your rooster. Carry him around like your little pup or your yeah. little cat. So go ahead and uh, see if we can get him. Did he injure you in the process? No, he scratched me with his claws by accident, not like an it was so chaotic. Wear gloves. You okay? I mean, it's not bleeding yet, but I feel like it's going to hurt really badly. Ideally, it doesn't take you so long because now you have a terrified rooster on your hands. But the goal of holding them is just to show them that you're not afraid of them and they can trust you. You're not going to hurt them when you get a hold of them, but also to get them used to you handling them on your terms. So 
they don't have the chance to attack you. And the key to holding them is to keep a really firm grasp over the top of their wings. You want to keep one side of their body firmly cupped against your body, and then you want to have your hand over their outside wing so you can keep them from trying to take off at all while they're in your arm. Roosters are very strong, so you really need to keep a lot firmer of a grip on them than you would if, it was, if you were dealing with just a hen. Right now, I'm not to the point of being able to hold him and feeling comfortable, so what I've been doing is hanging out with Chris while he holds him and trying to handle him a little bit more. And then occasionally, I'll pick him up from Chris or from the ground to try to get used to him as much as possible. But it's gonna take me a little bit longer because I'm a lot more timid around him. Tip number five I've been feeling so small. is to pet them, which works really well as you're holding them. Just give them lots of pets. This helps them get used to you handling them on your terms and your hands on them, and then them not having a chance to attack you. Doesn't know how he feels. Be careful when you pet them that you're not too close to their face because they can turn their head around quite a bit and they could uh, peck at you. Some nice long pets. <laughs> Tip number six is to feed them treats. Help them associate you with positive things. So we have some herb pecks right here. We're gonna see if he'll eat some of those. Oh. Good boy. Not interested. <laughs> number seven. Watch the clock. Get another rooster. As you can see behind me, we have these two plus four more, but three are living together in here. And sometimes another rooster will help mellow out the hormones and aggression, and they'll kind of take it out a little bit on each other and kind of understand that who's a rooster and who's a human. So there's plenty of roosters that need homes. It'd be pretty easy to find another one if this is a strategy that you could try out. Related to that, Number eight is understanding rooster behavior. Aggression isn't necessarily a bad thing. Now, of course, you want to think about your safety and the safety of your kids and people who might be visiting or anybody else in your household. But aggression in roosters represents that they're trying to do their job, protect their flock, protect their territory, and potentially they're perceiving you as a threat or they're trying to say, back off, this is my space, I'm trying to do my job, so let me do it. There's a couple things they might be telling you, but it's important to understand why they're doing it. They're not just jerks, they're not unfixable, they're not even necessarily a bad rooster. So give them a little bit of a break, try to understand them a little bit more when you're approaching resolving the aggressive behavior. Just like people, animals all have unique personalities. Jim <laughs> just happens to be really bold. Unfortunately, roosters are some of the most, probably, potentially the most abused animals. People won't give them a chance when they show any signs of aggression. And I really think that's devaluing the lives of an animal and it's kind of ignoring that there are a lot of strategies you can apply and just giving up. So don't give up, be patient, don't expect perfection, and understand that this animal deserves a good long life. My next tip, number nine, Walk boldly. <laughs> Don't let your fear stop you from pretending like you're totally confident. You may be terrified on the inside, but try not to show it on the outside. I'll show you what I mean. We're gonna walk. <laughs> We're gonna walk boldly towards him. Go away. <laughs> you can't be timid. You can't be shy when you're trying to push them back or keep them away from you. So you don't wanna like walk kind of hesitantly when you're trying to push away your aggressive rooster, you wanna be very bold. I'm horrible at this, <laughs> he's good at this, so I often ask him to come give me a hand when I'm nervous and I need to kinda of chase him off a little bit. If you're struggling to be confident and you have a lot of fear around a rooster, bring somebody to come help you, somebody who's confident around animals and not afraid because that really helps tremendously. I still can't be alone around our rooster and I need Chris's help, but I'm not afraid to, that, to admit that and one day I will be much more confident because of it. Guys, you gotta realize at the end of the day, this rooster is one fifteenth of your weight and you know, <laughs> one sixth of your height. This thing is, it's easily pushed back by you. So you don't have to be afraid around it. You can be bold, you can push it backwards. You are the stronger person. <sighs> He's testing us today. Yeah, can I go in?
Chris will just walk in there and kind of push him back. Number 10, make him retreat. It might seem like you're being a jerk. It might seem like you're trying to intimidate them, but you kind of are. Understanding they're roosters and they might just be trying to prove themselves to you. It may be a dominance thing. It's in their hormones. Our aggressive rooster was so sweet as a chick. So a lot of this is hormones and kicking in to tell him to be dominant. And so keeping him pushed back, making him retreat, just shows him that you're not playing around. You're not gonna hurt him, but you're also not going to let him take advantage of you and let him injure you. Because once he gets that idea, he's gonna keep trying to teach you that he's boss and you're submissive to him, which is not a good thing. Then you're not gonna be able to handle him and you're not gonna wanna be around him at all. So make him retreat. When you do make him retreat, you want to make sure he stays retreated as well. So one of the things that a lot of roosters will do until they learn to trust you or respect you is when you'll, you'll walk after them and force them to retreat. And as soon as you turn around, they will immediately come back at you. And if you're not paying attention, they'll chase after you. So you want to make sure that he stays in one spot and doesn't try to turn around and chase you back once you're retreating yourself. The last little nugget of wisdom, an extra tip for you guys today patient don't expect perfection it might be part of this animal's personality that they might just try to show you who's boss there's dogs like that there's cats like that there's an animal you can think of like that there's even kids and adults like that people who just maybe have a little bit more personality are trying to make you back down from them and might be a little bit more dominant than you're comfortable with so bottom line is try to understand that that might always be a little bit of a tendency with your rooster, but that doesn't mean that you, can be, you can't be safe and give the animal a good life that it deserves and learn to live together. Hi.